It's that time of year, everybody's getting sick. Kids are coming home, they're coughing, they're sneezing everywhere. All of a sudden now you're feeling down, you get tired, you get sick, and so what do you do? Is that you have to take time off the gym, you gotta rest. Well, in today's video, if you're sick, I'm gonna tell you how to get over it, but it's gonna be my way. If you're looking for nutrition coaching or you're looking to get started on our five-day kickstart, visit us at www.fitclub.fit. Mention the kickstart or mention the belly burn. Now, first off, we gotta understand that this is not research-based. It's what I do when I get a feelings of the cold. And honestly, I've never had anything last more than one to two days. Because you know why? I have no time to get sick. When you run a business, there is no sick days. I can't call in and somebody's gonna take over my job. I have to be there. And so for that, I've maybe felt down for one to two days, but I've never been sick for two to three weeks like I've been seeing lately. So the first thing that I wanna tell you is pick up a supplement called Echinacea, okay? Now, the research shows that it's supposed to boost your white blood cells at the first sign of any of your symptoms. So it's basically increasing the amount of workers in your body so that it can clear any of the virus or bacteria or whatever it is that you've got in your body, it's supposed to boost the amount of people that are gonna get rid of that trash. So echinacea is the first thing that I'd recommend to you. The second is the Vitastack. The Vitastack is a plethora of vitamins, fish oils, muscle recovery, brain boosters, and it hits every single essential vitamin and mineral that you require. And so if you're feeling down, you're probably eating less, so what do you need to do? You need to make sure that you're getting all your vitamins and minerals in there so that your body can actually function properly. The third thing I would tell you is to eat whole foods because you need to keep your energy levels up. When I talk to people when they get sick, what do they do? They barely eat, they lose weight, they become fragile. So think about somebody that's sitting in a hospital. They would want them to eat because they don't want them to wither away. Your body needs energy, it needs calories, so I would tell you to eat whole foods and force yourself to eat even if you don't want to, okay? Get a workout in. A workout doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be doing a crazy fit club workout, you know, doing jumping jacks and chest press and like going 110%, but if you're not completely full-blown sick, you can get to the gym and you can move your body and help your body to metabolize it. Or if you're really down and out and all you wanna do is lay on the couch, start with walking around your house. Get around your house, get up, go to the washroom, go downstairs, go do laundry, like do daily things that usually are super easy for you. And then those things are gonna be harder and it's gonna get the body going. It's gonna help you to digest and break down any of that virus that you got in your body and let's get rid of it. And again, this is all that I do that works for me. It might not be research based, but I'm telling you like get the body going, get it metabolizing. Now, NyQuil, okay? So usually I'll take a NyQuil at night. It's a pain reliever, it's a cough suppressant, etc. It's medicine. It's one of the only medical things that I'll take. I'm not calling my doctor and asking for a prescription. I'll just go to the NyQuil and it makes me more sleepy, okay? So when you sleep, it's the only time that your body is 100% dedicated to recovery. So I get it, you need to rest as much as possible. But if you're just laying on the couch and you're just watching TV and blowing your nose, if your eyes are open, get up and try and move around. When it's time to sleep, you go to sleep. So when you are sick, my recommendation is to get more volume of sleep, especially if you're skipping the gym and you're not going into work, then go to bed earlier, right? Don't use this time to catch up on more of your shows. Get more sleep, NyQuil, I find, helps me to sleep. A supplement called Amino Z's is something that I started recently. And my sleep rating, so my sleep rating goes on my watch. It's based on time, like length of sleep. How much deep sleep did I get? How much REM did I get? How many times throughout the night was I up? And I found that Amino Z's helped me to get a deeper and it actually put me to bed faster and I got a longer sleep. So try the Amino Z's as well. And mindset, like mindset is huge. Right, so if your brain is telling you, oh, you need to rest, and like we go through that every single day. You know, I get up in the morning, it's freaking dark right now because it's, you know, it's, it's becoming winter. And so I don't wanna get up before the sun, right? Even though it's already like 6.30 or 7 a.m., 
our brain is just gonna tell us, keep sleeping, get more rest, hit the snooze button. No, you need to get up and you need to do something. So if you're feeling the symptoms of getting sick, a lot of these supplements like echinacea, eating whole foods is gonna make your body feel better, but also the VitaStac is gonna make sure that you don't get sick. But if you do get sick, then try and resume as much of a normal lifestyle as possible. You need to determine, is it an owie or is it a boo-boo? Are you actually down and out and completely dead where you can't move? Then yes, okay, then do those things. But if you're able to function, start off with the basics. Move around your house, go outside for a walk, work your way up to going back to doing a workout. We have virtuals, so if you're home, there's probably nobody there, so there's no kids to be bumping on you and jumping on you and dogs and this and that. Take the time to do a virtual nice and slow and work your way up back to the blue. The moral of this story is your mindset is gonna help you to override a lot of these things. Resume as much of your normal life and take care of your body even if you're not sick. Get your vitamins in, get your sleep in, get your workouts in, and a lot of this stuff is gonna happen and it's gonna pass through you quickly. So I'm Coach RJ, you're sick, here's how I got over it. Visit us at www.fitclub.fit and mention the belly burn because even if you get sick in a belly burn, we're still gonna push you to do the best that you can and be the best version of you.